Good morning, my Word Nerds! Hello! Welcome to the terrific Tuesday edition of Word of the Day. My name is Christine. I am a member of the Perry Girls, and each and every weekday morning, I bring you a new and amazing Word of the Day for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound sparkles. Good morning, Leon. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, hi, John! Hello, hello, and Deborah's in the house. Whoop, whoop! All right, you guys, today is Tuesday, so we share our word of the day with the heart tribes of the Perry Girls. So thank you to all my heart tribers for also being here. If you guys are ready, let's jump right in. Today we have a compound word. You might remember yesterday that I teased that we have a compound word. It's risk-taking. Risk-taking is today's word of the day. R-I-S-K dash T-A-K-I-N-G. This one should be really easy to spell, right? We all know the word risk. We all know the word taking. So risk taking with a hyphen or a dash or a minus sign in between, okay? Now, let's talk about what risk taking means. Risk taking means doing something that involves danger or risk. Getting out of bed in the morning. I'm just saying, in today's day and age, just being alive, just leaving the house, just getting a job, having kids, meeting people, getting yourself into a relationship. These are all risks that we take. So my question to you guys today with risk taking in mind is where in your life do you need to take more risk? Where in your life are you playing it so safe that you're actually missing out on something? Hey, Smartphone, thanks for joining us. So risk taking. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I don't wear a lot of makeup normally. I started something new just in the past couple of weeks, and no one has said, gross, Christine, wash your face. So I'm guessing you guys like the risk that I've taken. So I took the risk, and I'm reaping kind of the rewards because I feel prettier. I really like the way that this stuff does my eyes on the underneath, and this stuff that I've been wearing on my lips, I love. Um, if you don't know what this stuff is, this is called Lip Sense. S-E-N-S-E, -S -S -E, Lip Sense, and it's a stain. Oh, thank you, Deborah. This is a stain. It's called Lip Sense, and I put some on yesterday. I put the, the pink on and then the brown over it, and today I put the brown on first and the pink over it, and then I put some gloss on it, um, but I'm really liking this stuff, right? It's cute, and it doesn't rub off. Watch this. It doesn't rub off. It's a stain. It's like it's there. It's not going anywhere. Anyway, I love this stuff so much, I'm gonna have a party at my house and trying to get other people like introduced to it. So, you know, like Tupperware, Avon kind of thing. But, um, so shout out to Chelsea, my husband's niece, who is selling this. Her group on Facebook is called um, Pucker Up Buttercup. Hey, Pucker Up Buttercup, that's what it's called. So if you're into lip scents or if you wanna check it out, go check her out, Hey, pu Hey, Pucker Up Buttercup. Is it Hey Buttercup Pucker Up? Ugh, I better know the name of it. But yeah, that's the name of her group. It's really cute, right? Pucker Up. Mm -hmm. So anyway, she took a risk. She took a risk and she started her own side hustle selling lip scents and she uses Facebook as one of the ways to market it. And it's really brilliant. I mean, she puts out all kinds of colors and all kinds of pictures and she shows what you can do with layering and um, every time she gets a new shipment, um, she had a shipment of stuff that the seal got broken on. So, you know, she's, she told us, hey, I can sell this at a discount. So, yeah, she just she's using Facebook as a marketing tool. She took a risk. She went out there and she started her home business. As a payroll manager, I am risk adverse in my day job, right? We don't take risks when it comes to payroll. But in the other aspects of my life, I'd say I'm a huge risk taker. You know, I get up and I speak in front of people. I speak to high schoolers. Ugh. For a week each year, I go out and I talk to local high schoolers about paycheck literacy, teaching them how to read their paycheck slips, how to fill out their W-4s, why it's important to do that. These are things that I know how to do, and I go out and I share it with them. But I'm taking a huge risk putting myself in front of these teenagers, knowing full well that they're going to judge me for the worse or the better, right? They may judge me poorly. They may judge me okay. They may judge me great. But they're going to judge me. But I'll never get that information into their heads or at least plant that seed of knowledge if I don't take that risk. So risk taking is not always a negative thing. Now, if you're jumping off of buildings without a parachute, that's not risk taking, that's suicide, and that's stupid. That's selfish and irresponsible. 
I'm talking about risk taking. Base jumping with a shoot is risk taking. It's also stupid <laughs> and super irresponsible. But some people love that kind of stuff. Some people are adrenaline junkies. And that's the kind of risk that they need to take to feel fulfilled. So ask yourself today, where are you going? Thank you, Darcy. Where are you going to take your risk today? Where are you going to take a risk today? This isn't one that I want you to add to your vocabulary. This isn't one I want you to drop in a conversation. This is one I want you to really think about. Okay? Challenge yourself. I challenge you. Ooh, I double dog dare you. I triple dog dare you. Take a risk today. Find some part of your life that you've been just kind of shoving aside. I'm going to take my own advice. I'm going to take a risk today. I'm going to make a phone call that I've been putting off for a very long time. But I'm going to make it. Or maybe I'll send an email. But I'm going to make that contact today. I'm going to take the risk and I'm going to make that contact today. I've been putting it off for a really long time because I didn't know how I would be received, right? If the phone call would even be accepted. Live scoping is a risk, big time risk taking. Big time. But you know what? I took the risk and I'm super fulfilled and I love being here and I love doing this for you guys. And I love my YouTubers. I love my YouTube channel too. All eight of my followers, my subscribers, thank you so much for being here. Thursday, you're gonna scope on Thursday? Yay! You can do word of the day? Cause it's a hard drive word of the day. I can't tell you what it is though, cause that would be cheating. But do watch Facebook, cause I put them out on Facebook every single day for the word, uh, word of the day in the Perry Girls stream, okay? All right, guys, I got to go to work. Blah. So have a great day. Take some risks, okay? Promise? Promise? No fingers crossed? All right. I love you all. Risk taking. Use it. Don't abuse it. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Know that I love you all, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for the wonderful Wednesday edition of Word of the Day. Until then, bye now.